Welcome to Two Minutes with Mike, where I try to blow your noodles in the time it takes to make my noodles. You know, in 1923, a man called Frederick Banting and his team won the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine for the discovery of insulin. This medication transformed many lives and increased both quality and quantity of life for millions. Now, it's often thought that if a person with diabetes falls unconscious, the first thing to do is give them insulin. However, that may actually prove deadly. It all depends on whether they are hyperglycemic or hypoglycemic. In other words, do they have too much or too little sugar? The right treatment must be given in the right circumstances. In other words, we have to establish what imbalances exist in order to correct it. And so it is with scripture. Scripture constantly seeks to correct us and keep us on the right path. One example of this can be seen in Galatians chapter five. In verse one, Paul writes, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. He's seeking to correct the thinking that good works or keeping the law of Moses were necessary either to gain salvation or perfect salvation. That was a major problem in the Galatian churches. However, in exactly the same chapter, in verses 13 and 14, he writes, you, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love, for the entire law is, full, full, is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. And so what he's doing, he's looking at the people and saying, some people are drifting this way into legalism and they need to be brought back. Some people are drifting that way into licentiousness, they need to be brought back. Each of us has our own bias our own tendency to veer to the right or to the left. It is imperative that we take the right medicine for the right problem at the right time. That is what brings life. And that's why we must learn to apply the whole of scripture, not just the parts that we like or the parts that appeal to us. Time's up, see you soon.